So AI is, is a big game changer, especially in the field of agriculture in India. And as you mentioned before, agriculture is the biggest sector in India. Almost 50% of the population, the work the workforce is employed in agriculture. Now, there are so, so many challenges that are arising as a result of uh, climate change uh, and many other factors, such as uh, new kind of pests are being uh, coming up. You know, the issues with irrigation, uh, issues with uh, crop recommendation and soil analysis and many of these things. Now, what AI has done is it has solved some of these problems. For example, uh, pest detection uh, with uh, image recognition tools and uh, many of uh, similar ML programs that has been addressed in many ways. Now, where Kisan GPT, Kisan means farmer, so farmer GPT comes in, into play is that it acts as uh, it provides information. You know, it's, it's as an interactive way to the farmers. Uh, so the farmers can ask questions regarding uh, crop issues, um, you know, soil uh, analysis or uh, pest detection and things like that. And this uh, this app will provide them uh, recommendations and uh, other things. Now, where it gets interesting is that this uh, platform is using uh, regional languages. As you know, India has 22 regional languages and many more uno uno uh, unofficial languages, uh, 22 official languages. So by translating uh, this, uh, whatever it gets from GPT, whatever recommendation it provides, and using a translation layer and providing these farmers and, and interacting with them through voice interface, it is pretty much addressing a huge challenge for these farmers and many of them are, are in the very much uh, technologically illiterate or literate in, uh, in that manner. So that's where uh, uh, technologies like AI play a critical role. So this is one of the factors about AI that excites me a lot, like uh, the ability to solve many challenges. Now, uh, coming to uh, an Indian perspective or from an Asian or African perspective, there are areas where you have a shortage of uh, primary health care or primary diagnostic facilities or even doctor as well. So these kind of tools and technologies can provide that initial uh, uh, initial diagnosis and then uh, provide it find some uh, detect some problems. The, the patient can go and get uh, checked in, uh, in a bigger city. I'm talking about people in rural India or rural Africa or the rural parts in the global south. Now, we have seen similar examples in India as well. There's a startup called Niramai, which has created a non-invasive uh, thermal imaging based breast cancer uh, diagnostic tool, uh, which has been doing some phenomenal work. Uh, they've been actually also uh, expanded to other markets outside India as well. Similarly, uh, there's a tool called ePARWAY, which uh, looks into uh, cataract. So many in India, you get only one eye doctor for uh, uh, 200,000 people. So there's a severe shortage. Now what this program does is it's, it's, you can put it on a phone, you can take the pictures of eye, and it will tell you what is the what is the rate of cataract, and then uh, they can uh, they can seek treatment. So this is what exciting about uh, this kind of technology, you know, to, to replace that primary screening facility. I'm not saying it will replace doctor, but that early step can be you know early detection can be done with this technology.